Lars for our first Zoom TV here. We're with Ford at Computex and they're going to show us their new uh, in-car entertainment system, which is a little bit different from what you normally get in your car. We're here with Ted from Ford, so he's going to give us a quick rundown at what we're looking at here. So, Yes, uh, basically the sync system is use uh, voice control to control the USB device or even use the voice control to control your mobile phone. And the mobile phone will connect to our system using the Bluetooth. So the basically the whole system will mo make uh, the driver more convenient when you are driving you don't have to distract to other systems so you will make your driving more safety right so you you were telling me you co-developed this system with Microsoft yes uh, the software is uh, developed by the Microsoft and so the the copyright or the sync software is come from the Microsoft Yep. I, is more companies than Ford going to use this, do you think? Or is Microsoft going to try to push this as a sort of universal in-car entertainment standard? Uh, so far, it's only collaborate with the Ford. So the sync system is only available in Ford vehicles. Okay. Yep. So what, what can you show sort of what you can do with this? Okay, sure. Uh, here is the voice control button. When you push that button, he will tell you what kind of command you should use. So currently you are under the USB uh, uh, catalog. So the USB related command is shown in the screen. The, you can say the play all, the play track, you say the track, the name, or even say the play artist and say the artist name. You will directly change to that artist. So let me demo you. Play artist, Michael Jackson. Welcome to Saxon. Do something awesome. I'm excited to see it. If it's your first Right, so presumably in a less loud environment you wouldn't have yeah. to bend over to the speaker. Yeah, but of course it's a demo case, so the speaker is located in here. But in the car, the actual car, you will locate on the Doom. Right, of course. You will be more convenient. So it, this only works with the entertainment system right now, but are you sort of considering integrating this into more systems like your navigation, for example? Yeah, this is a generation one sync. Uh, in the future, the generation two, uh, we will have the navigation which also use the voice control to do that. And even uh, use your uh, in-car, the, the, the AC control, you even use your voice control to control the temperature. Yeah. So soon enough, you can just tell the car to cold, please. Yeah, cold, or even the degree, what kind of degree you want to. And it could be very convenient for the customers. Yeah. Well, at least it should be a little bit less distracting than fiddling with knobs yeah, and things. Course. Yeah, that's the whole idea. The core concept is that to make your driver more concentrate on your road condition. So the system is the, the background is that. Yep. Right, great. Thank you very much. No